from the newsroom at news.com.au. Hi there, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday the 12th of April. Well, it's official, Victoria will host the 2026 Commonwealth Games. The majority of the events won't be held in Melbourne though. The Games will actually take place across four regional hubs in Geelong, Bendigo, Ballarat and Gippsland. The Commonwealth Games were last held in Victoria in 2006. Moving on now, New South Wales police are still looking for the people who stabbed and killed a 17-year-old at the Sydney Royal Easter Show last night. Detectives believe the death was the result of a planned confrontation between two groups of male youths. A 15-year-old was arrested and charged with carrying a knife in a public place, but those responsible for the stabbing are still at large. In other news, several European governments as well as the Australian government are trying to verify reports that Russia has used chemical weapons in Ukraine. A Ukrainian lawmaker has claimed that Russia had used an unknown substance in the city of Maripol and that people were suffering from respiratory failure as a result. Australia's Foreign Minister Maurice Payne said if Russia did use chemical weapons, it would be a breach of international law. To sport now, Gillan McLaughlin has announced he is quitting as AFL CEO at the end of the season after eight years in charge. Mr McLaughlin was on the verge of tears as he spoke to the media today. The responsibility has never been lost on me. Um, and I feel good that the game's in better shape now um, than when I took over, but the scoreboard for the others will be for others to judge. I'm leaving now because it feels right, um, right for the AFL, right for me, right for my family. To entertainment, well, Hamish Blake has revealed that his behaviour bothered Scott Cam when they were filming the celebrity version of Lego Masters. Here's what he had to say on news.com.au's podcast, I've Got News For You. Scott Cam, to have him on your show as a contestant is just funny <laughs> because he's just sort of like, I don't really like being a contestant, I prefer hosting. <laughs> I just love that sometimes when I go up to his desk, he was a bit bothered by me being there, like he was just lost in building. A new season of Lego Masters starts on Channel 9 on Monday night. And finally, Britney Spears' fiancé has released a statement after the singer revealed earlier today that she's pregnant. Sam Asghari wrote that fatherhood is something he's always looked forward to and that he doesn't take lightly, saying it would be the most important job he will ever do. Well, that's the latest from the newsroom. We'll be back with another update soon. Get the latest from news.com.au.